Today, what's on my mind are a very fun mechanic that I've seen in a couple different systems, and that is exploding dice. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Stormhorn1000. Glad to have you with us. Let's talk about today on the vlog here, exploding dice. And I guess I'm gonna get to the question of, do exploding dice have a place in D&D? But before I get to that, let me explain why it's on my mind. So I just finished watching session two of Critical Role's Undeadwood. It is really cool. Brian W. Foster is an amazing GM. He is running this really fun game in the Deadwood uh, game system for some of those members of the Critical Role group and a few guests. And it's really incredible. It's funny and entertaining. It's nail biting and creepy and everything in between. They put a lot of value and a lot of time into the production of this. So it's very, really smoothly done and in all the right ways. So I I highly recommend it. Now one of the reasons that I am enjoying it is because the game has a mechanic called exploding dice. And if you're not familiar with that mechanic, it is featured in some other games, not just Deadwood, but the point of it is when you roll a die and you roll the maximum number on the die, you get to re-roll. So for instance, if you're rolling a d6 and you roll a six, you get to roll again. If you roll another six, you get to roll again. And this can go on and on. And obviously this can get you into some very big numbers. It's a really cool f uh, mechanic and it has a really great place in certain games, I think. But what was interesting about this to me was I, it started me thinking about like, well, would, would exploding dice fit into D&D, if at all? And if they did, how? Like, how would you use it? So my first thought is that I would never try to do exploding dice for like, to hit rolls or saving throws, ability checks and so forth. So it really basically comes down to damage rolls. And now, then, the, then it begs the question like, would we really want exploding damage in every opportunity? I don't think so. But in my mind, if you roll a critical hit, that might be a perfect opportunity for using exploding dice. You know, maybe instead of doubling dice, you just have that potential of the dice exploding. Or even if you do roll the double dice, you roll two dice, you could still explode the dice and that to me would make things really exciting in the damage of Dungeons and Dragons. I guess it seems like it might not fit, but it could be a really fun thing to homebrew or to have as a table rule, you know, uh, uh, if you were into it, if this was your thing, because it could get you some like ridiculously high damage rolls. I would imagine that you could do the same thing for uh, spells, you know, perhaps if you did something with spell saving throws where if there was a, there, if the, the creature that rolled a saving throw rolled a natural one, let's say, then any dice in your damage pool would explode if you were casting a spell like fireball or something. You know, you cast fireball and somebody rolls a nat one on their dexterity saving throw. And so any damage they take, if there are any, you know, max die rolls, max, you know, D6 rolls, you could roll those over and see how high of the damage can go. So that was just the idea that was in my head today, of course, after watching Deadwood with their exploding dice. I'm like, wow, wouldn't that be a neat mechanic to maybe try to find a way to work into Dungeons and Dragons sometimes or in certain circumstances. I'd love to hear if you have any ideas and thoughts, please let me know how would you fit exploding dice into Dungeons and Dragons or if you think it's a terrible idea, let me know that too. I'll see you at a table someday. Keep rolling 20s until then and exploding them if you can. And remember, it's your game, play your way.